Hello adventurers, welcome to Ready, Set, Design. Ready, Set, Design is a quick, hands-on activity that will show you the basics of design thinking and problem solving. What materials do you need for Ready, Set, Design? Well first, you need one to two partners. You can complete this activity alone, but it's much more fun in a group. Next, you need a bag of materials. Your teacher might have already prepared a bag of materials, but if not, I'll show you how to prepare your own bag later on in the video. And finally, you cannot use glue, tape, or scissors. If you need to prepare your own bag of materials, here's what you need. A brown paper bag, or a Ziploc bag, or a grocery bag. Doesn't matter, just find a bag. Next, you need four to five fastener items. These could be pipe cleaners, rubber bands, paper clips, or string. Place those in your bag. Then, you need two to three surface items. Surface items could be cardboard squares, balloons, or paper. Place these items in your bag, too. Finally, you need three to four structure items. Structure items are popsicle sticks, straws, or aluminum foil. Your bag is now complete. It is time to select a challenge. Write down a number between 1 and 5. Do you have a number? Excellent. Which challenge did you get? If you chose number 1, your challenge is, I need to protect myself from the rain. Find the challenge that matches up to the number you chose. Make sure to remember this challenge, you'll need it for the rest of the activity. Let's review the rules of the game. The first rule is your time limit. You will only have 10 minutes to build a prototype or small model that solves your challenge. The second rule is you may only use the materials in your bag to build your prototype. And the third rule, you can't design a solution that already exists. Your ideas must be original and your own. A few helpful hints before we get started. Your prototype is not meant to be perfect. Rather, it's a rough, simple idea that demonstrates how your solution might actually work. The prototypes in the pictures here are both made out of popsicle sticks, string, bags. They don't actually work, but they get the idea across. Next, the wilder the idea, the better. These umbrellas for shoes are kind of a crazy solution. But, would they solve the problem of your feet getting wet? Definitely. Don't let realism limit your creativity. If your solution is a flying car, go for it. In this activity, there are no rules, there are no limits. Come up with the best idea possible. And finally, don't be afraid to change and combine your ideas along the way. Why come up with a fork or a spoon when you could make a spork? Are you ready? get set, and design. You can pause this video for 10 minutes while you complete your prototype. Welcome back from the design challenge. How did your prototype turn out? It's time to share your design with the class. Take turns sharing your group's solution with the rest of the classroom. Read your challenge card, then explain how your prototype solves the challenge. You just completed the design thinking process. You used empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Continue on in the lesson to learn more about design thinking. Excellent work.